J. Kent, man, kind of go in on this, man, and just talk about, man, what happened, but also, man, just the disrespect, man, of human life, man, after this happened, man. Yeah, but so disrespectful, man, in many ways. I I'll get to the disrespect piece here in a second, but just to kind of, like, set the stage for what happened. I mean, this is a routine football play because DeMar plays safety, so he was going for a tackle uh, on one of the Cincinnati Bengals receivers, T. Higgins. And they kind of collided. It really wasn't even like a tackle. It was more like a collide. Uh, mm -hmm. And he just kind of got him right in the right spot in the chest that mm -hmm. caused a cardiac arrest. Because he kind of stood up and then he fell right back. You know, so fell right back down, I should say. And j just a surreal, scary scene that I've never seen anything like that. I mean, we see guys get hurt on the field all the time but never seen something quite like this though like this was this was different man where they're actually doing cpr on this man on the field so salute to all the um you know all, all the, the the healthcare workers on the field man all, you Facts. know for yeah. both teams yeah. Yeah. and out. the prayer warriors Facts. and the prayer and warriors. prayer warriors that came out and helped this guy man they got his heart back beating on the that's field, crazy man. by so the way just, and if they didn't yeah. do that he'd be gone let's be, yeah. be gone he wouldn't be here today um but long story short uh he is in icu right now he's in recovery i know i think he might be coming off the ventilator because they got his heart up to like 60 percent now beating on its own so uh definitely prayers out to, to damar hammond and his family man just let you know while we all root for some of these teams man football is a well sports in general uh it's, it's barbarian. You cannot take it for granted. I mean, this can happen to anybody. These cats also played this sport to feed their families. So when people be going in on them on social media, talking about um, they they trash and all that, see power. I didn't even know that. So that's yeah, that's new. That's crazy. They say that. You, and this thing, power, yeah. is, power is our fact checker. That's he, he, he's, he's they our said fact he was checker, dead, man. So, man. Right. So that's even worse. Then that that even makes this whole conversation worse because this is just damn man damn salute yeah. to his family man the buffalo bills the whole nfl really because this impacts everybody man because right. i wouldn't be shocked to see some guys probably retire from this you know again man they put their bodies on the on the line to play they this do. sport they do so well, uh having said we Let's be clear, we just talked about yep. death and we this dude died on the field and because of Good Samaritans, man, and like Bebo P said, the prayer warriors, this dude is back, you know, hopefully breathing on his own. Uh, they had a GoFundMe for the dude. He's an NFL player. They raised six million for him. And uh, counting. He, uh, b before Bebo P goes in, just Jay Kent, what's your thoughts on that and just finishing up? Yeah, man, I, I, I just wanted to touch on just the whole disappointment from this where you got some folks who's politicizing it with the whole Facts. vaccine thing, which yeah. why even bring that into this discussion when we, when the man was fighting for his life at the Facts. time, and then you got your skip Bayless's of the world, the hot take guy, you know what I'm saying? Who's trying to basically say this has so much meaning for the NFL because these two teams are basically fighting for like a top spot for the playoffs yet overshadowing the fact that this man was fighting for his life on the field man just again just people not understanding time and place not understanding you know that th these dudes are again they putting their body on the line and just just a whole lack of respect just for human right. life man it's just it's unbelievable that people still think this way and they use these type of situations to push their own agenda but but go ahead bebo <clears throat> wow uh I mean, the direct trauma that put Damar Hamlin in cardiac contusion, then cardiac shock and sent him into uh, a V-fib, I think is what it's called, a ventricular fibu yep. uh, fibrillation. Um, that V-fib, man, that was just really, was and still is rather extremely heartbreaking, man, just to see um, as not only as, as an individual, but to many out there, nationwide and possibly even most of the world 
Um, of course, we here at Fresh Out uh, extend our prayers and well wishes to uh, Damar and his family, loved ones, uh, teammates, um, football players, you know, the NFL. I mean, you name it, all of the supporters, um, you know, whether it's financial or not, um, because at the end of the day, it's it's about the, the, the life of an individual who, as J. Camp said, is willing to put his life on the line in order for people to be entertained and for them to uh, live a healthy lifestyle, um, a, a live a financially healthy lifestyle, but also, you know, a physically healthy one too. Um, so there's power in prayer, everyone. Um, speaking of those in need of prayer, that tweet from Skip Bayless uh, that he posted regarding this matter uh, was, yeah, fart sounds was and still is extremely insensitive and, and he won't take it down either shannon asked yeah. him to take it down and he's not gonna take it yeah. down he refuses to take it down and that's just that, that's been skipped just from jump street he is very exactly. unapologetic the hot take dude but to not even understand bebo why they would postpone this game yeah to, to even question it like i mean i mean th there is no manual on none of this stuff you know what i'm saying it's not like the nfl is, right. is waiting for these type of things to happen. There's Excellent. no manual. So right. the natural reaction for for both sides, man, like these guys was not going to be able to go out there and finish that game after seeing something. Not at all. No, no. Dude, mentally, you can't do that, man. Come no, on. you can't. No, I mean, just out of respect for, for, for this for this player. And yeah, yeah absolutely. 600, like 600 said, he was dead. Yeah, they brought him yeah. back twice. Yeah. And literally while Hamlin is fighting for his – physical life skip on the other side is fighting for the ongoing life of the nfl playoff games that's heartless you know uh, I, look fs1 never serves consequences against skips disrespectful verbiage whether it's this again heartbreaking situation or whether it's disrespecting shannon um who right. is the lifeblood personality wise on the show but you know i definitely don't want to yeah. focus on that right They'll now let but you know Bebo, they, 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 need, they need that to be relevant like they Facts. need that dude making them type of comments in order to to, to stay alive right <laughs> i mean cause obviously because any other network would have reprimanded that dude on site Facts. absolutely we've seen, yeah. we've seen cats get clipped for way less oh yeah than it. yeah it's like, for, like what matt like yeah. Madden said too if that would have been tom brady Oh, no, nah, yeah, they would have said cancel everything, almost cancel oh, the season. Damn.